Well, FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Dover away in the National League South. How are you feeling going into this one, Adam? Um, yeah, obviously uh, we've had a couple of days um, to, to train this week, which which has been good. Um, no sort of fresh injuries as well. Um, hoping Greg will be back. Um, obviously Kane getting some more um, you know minutes into his legs in training. Um, so yeah, relatively pleased with with, with where we are. Um, we looked at a couple of things that we can improve on from Saturday, especially like when we're playing out. Um, so, yeah, we'll be trying to sort of implement that and um, give a good account of ourselves uh, on Saturday. Yeah, having had a week now to look back from Saturday's game, what about it in particular would you like to change? Um, just just some detail um, to, to us playing out. Um, a couple of times I thought we... Um, Went with the flow of their press rather than sort of playing through it and then when we did play through it we was a, a bit loose with one or two of our passes um so yeah just to tidy up on that um but yeah nice grass pitch for us to enjoy um you know this bit of bit of rain at the last couple of days hopefully um you know uh, mean a, a good surface down there which it normally is so yeah with one that we'll look forward to and um I know it's going to be a tough game, um, but yeah, we concentrate on us putting those couple of bits that we've been working on right, and um, yeah, see see how we can get on. Yeah, they've started off the season pretty well, uh, considering especially at home. So they're obviously quite comfortable with that pitch. Do you expect that though to be an easy surface for the boys to adapt to? No, yeah, it's just generally quite good down there. Obviously, we had a bit of a, a problem in the winter um, with one side being one side being frozen. So I'm hoping to be. Um, None of that this time around. Um, so, yeah, we'll, um, like I say, we won't have no excuses going down there. It'll be, be a lovely surface for us, and you know, I'm sure they'll enjoy it just as much as what we will. And yeah, it's a real game for us to look forward to. I think, um, we're obviously, very disappointed not to come away with three points last week, um, and there's no better way with, you know, a bumper weekend to, to try and put that put that right. And you know, the, the, the first point of call is. Going to, to going to Dover. Um, it's going to be a tough game, but yeah, like I say, we want to really give a good account of ourselves. You mentioned that their bumper weekend of fixtures, they're having their home game against Weymouth on the Monday as well. Do you think the squad's going to be okay to cope with those two games within three days? Yeah, it's going to be a bit of an ask for one or two, but yeah, it's uh, opportunities. If you know, if the squad's not quite ready, then opportunity falls upon other players, and we've got enough players signed on. Um, you know, there's a reason they're at this club and, and sign, so yeah, we've got to give them an opportunity if we need to. So yeah, we'll, we'll look at it, we'll, we'll freshen things up when we need to and when we have to, and um, yeah, we'll be ready to go. There'll be no excuses either game. Um, you know, we've got more than enough here and enough fit, and um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. And looking at the squad, in terms of the fitness, obviously, you mentioned Greg Lur potentially could be back. Is there anyone else who's looking promising on the road to recovery? Um, no, Tati's, we'll have a look at him. He um, trained Tuesday, so see how he's getting on. Um, other than that, obviously, um, you know, Liam come back and play on Saturday, Tuesday, and then Saturday again. I thought it might have been a bit too much when, you know, he hasn't played a great deal of football over pre-season. He, so he's telling me it's like his first 90 minutes um, in over a month. So, you know, hoping now that little refresh uh, for him will give be ready for, for some more minutes over the weekend. Um, so yeah, and then we've got uh, lads that have not really featured too much yet, Finney Chadwick and Ollie Starkey, um, you know, absolutely desperate to, to get on the pitch and showcase themselves and show what they can do. Um, I think Ruben and Jake um, probably a bit behind uh, Kane and Tati at the moment, um, but yeah, it's, it's all coming together slowly, um, you know, I'm sure um, hopefully this time, three weeks, we'll have full bill of health if there's no fresh new injuries and you know the the lads that are out there's nothing too sinister and too long apart from obviously Parso who has had his operation now um he's in a cast for a couple of weeks so we wish him a very speedy recovery it's promising as well to talk about that amount of quality that's on the sidelines um considering the quality of the team so far this season no yeah it's a real real good squad and um you know i think when you've got the shirt you've got a got to play well to keep it um, just being average this season is not going to be enough and if you have an average game then you can't expect to start next game uh, and I think that's what every successful team has um, and, and what you need keeps everyone fresh everyone on their toes everyone 
knowing they've got to perform at their level best and it sort of should eradicate any complacency within the group.